And as you can see behind us, there's a replica of a space shuttle and a thing, a plane that yeah. carried. And this is part of the Space Center of Houston. There's also one in Florida. We're at the one in Houston called Linda B. Johnson Space Center. And it's NASA. And if you look over there, you can see a SpaceX Falcon 9 booster. Um, and it looks real too. These are the backs all burnt and stuff. But yeah, it's super cool how they did that. And that's Elon Musk's company if you didn't know SpaceX. And now also will tell some stuff about the actual space shuttle. So as you can see on the bottom of the space shuttle, the one on the top, there's a heat shield under that. So it protects it from burning when it comes down to the atmosphere. And yeah. Also a fun fact is that uh, a space shuttle, like one of the space shuttles, I don't know which one it is, but it actually exploded like because Oh the space the, shuttle. Yeah. 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 It basically did that because of one of the heat shields broke and it was just because of one thing. So yeah, super fascinating. And yeah, we'll head on inside, check out the Space Center. We'll show you some stuff if we're allowed to record it there. So yeah, we'll head on to that. So now we're inside the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. We just scanned our uh, tickets that we already booked online. And yeah, we're gonna go and head on in. And yeah, can't wait to see some more stuff. As you can see right above us is the International Space uh, Station model. As you can see right there. Super cool. Yeah, well, here are some of the solar panels that are used. And this is used on the International Space Station. And there's a quick video that you can see. Yeah. So, and as you can see right there is the model of a spacesuit. So yeah. And over there is another rocket. Just a, a dummy of it. Sure. 
people to Mars. That's what I saw in one video. And yeah, that's some human compared to that. Huge. Yeah. And that thruster you see right there on the bottom uh, are the RS-25 engines are actually that size. Super huge compared to me.
sees the Starship Gallery of the Destiny Theater, and we'll be going inside, and we're just going to be watching what they're showing, and yeah. So we just got onto the tram and now we'll be heading it on to that building over there to show you. I don't know if you can see it, but it's um, the building where we're just going to see all the rocket facilities and stuff. So we'll be heading on over there and yeah, we'll tell you when we get on the move. So now we're on the move and that should be the building that we're going to. Also, look at this. It's super cool. And yeah, I'll tell you when we reach our first stop. And I'll time lapse it on the drive. So this is the mock-up vehicle facility. There's also people working here too. And yeah, super cool. Some is for specific terrain types, others are just like humans, as you can see in front of that truck right there. As we move forward, there's two other astronaut robots up there. And yeah, this is typically the training site for all the astronauts. Yeah. NASA astronauts are now launching on the SpaceX Crew Dragon in the boat Starliner. These capsules are part of a new program from NASA called the Commercial Crew, Commercial Crew Program that was started in 2014. A couple key things to note about Rognaut, his hands are very realistic, they're almost identical to a human, and he has no feet. This is because Rognaut is not meant to be used here on Earth. He's sent up to the ISS where he'll do grunt work while the astronauts do research and experiments. So he can do any kind of handiwork, so he can use like hammers, drills, wrenches, any tools that a human can use, he can use. So he can fix things up there on the ISS. He can also do office work. So he can type out emails, send messages. He can even use Facebook. Now the other robot, the one that's next to the white pickup truck, that is Valkyrie. Now Valkyrie is meant to be used here on Earth. You may be wondering why there's a white pickup truck and just a random door sitting there. That's because Valkyrie is actually used for disaster relief efforts. And that door and that pickup truck are here so that we can simulate entering rooms and entering into vehicle. Now Valkyrie is not completely developed yet. She's actually, they're still working on her. Uh, but she was able to be sent into Puerto Rico a couple years during Hurricane Rita, where she was able to aid in saving four lives.
so this is a Saturn V rocket, the exact one that was used. Look at those uh, boosters. Wow. The, this is USA 2. This is an entire real Saturn V rocket. So this is the first stage that separates onto it. You can see, look at how detailed that wiring is. So this is the Saturn V, Saturn V. V and Roman numerals is five. So the SLS is going to be the most powerful new rocket. And the SLS block pool is a little bit shorter than the Saturn V. That is, the Saturn V is 363 feet and the SLS block pool 1 is 322 feet and then the version 2 of the SLS the cargo version two, so that is 365 feet, and yeah. So this is another part. This is the United States on it, and yeah, these are basically the stages. Let me zoom in. So that's the first. The current one that we're seeing is second. We're going to see the third one over there. And yeah, this is how the stages take place. Just like that. And this is how it was lifted off. The Saturn V. And yeah, now we'll go to the last stage. Right there. Look at this. This one just has one booster on it. Yeah. Super cool. Yeah, this is the entire stage three of it, right there. And yeah, that too. And that's the front of it. You can see, just like that. This entire thing is made up like that. And this is the front of the Saturn V. These are some of the old TVs back then.
So this is the front of the space shuttle. It looks way harder than an airplane. Super high tech. Look all above us as well. And on the sides.